Alright, so today's video is on my homemade tranquilizer dart. This is basically one that it's not my own idea. I was watching a video a while ago of some guy in South Africa, I think it was. I was showing how to make the smaller ones for actual tranking animals. All I had at the time was big ones, big syringes, so I tried it out in this size and I was hoping to fire it out of a shotgun, but I don't know if I'll ever have a chance to do that, to test it out, so just wanted to show you how this is, how I made it, and how the thing ends up working. So to build one of these you need two syringes, one needle as you can see right here. This is a piece of uh, wire insulation. I don't know if I could get to move. It's been a long time since I built it. Anyways, as you see, wire insulation. This is a standard needle that you get with these syringes. This one, if I'm not mistaken, was for putting scent in dog toys for hunting. Anyways. So, in order to build these, first thing is you have to modify the the needle on it. As you see, the needle is normally made so that you inject from the front. So what you have to do there is first fill it up with something, an epoxy of some sort. I just used JB Weld and I cleaned it back up again so it was sharp and it is pretty sharp there. Next thing you have to do is make a hole down the side right there. You might not see it too well in here, but... There you go. Little hole on the side, that's where the new spot where it's going to inject the liquid is. Next, you have to install this little rubber piece and it has to go right over the hole like that. That's what keeps the pressure in. As you see, I've already preloaded it with some water. And, uh, that's easily done by taking a syringe you want to fill it up with water with a tube remove the needle and you inject it into there and as you see here your first put this down and I'll go here and try to get this to focus properly But so as you see there's two syringes facing opposite sides all you have to do is cut them down the middle well cut off the end pieces the Here's the original of what they would look like. So you cut off the end pieces, then you get a candle or some other heating device and you heat the two pieces and stick them together. They'll glue in together like that. Before you do that, you take your plunger and you cut it like you see here, leaving the rubber intact completely. On your second needle, much the same thing, except instead of leaving it intact, you see the grooves that are on these. I'll pop this out of here if I can. The grooves that are on the side that give a perfect seal up against the edge. along the edge have to be cut off so you take a sharp knife or a razor and you just clean off to make it completely smooth and then you place it here the reason for that is that you've got to build up pressure in here the only way to build up pressure in it the way that they actually do it is they use another a syringe with air they put it on the end and they press air into it air is going to make its way around the plunger here because it's not a tight seal and when you yank off the back the change in pressure since this isn't going to be higher than over here it's going to try to push the air out which forces the plunger into the hole to block it and that's basically how it's going to work now I'm going to try to fill it up hopefully it's not too old that I won't actually do any of this filling properly it seemed to have worked before. I'll put this on for safety because if 
first off, make sure it's tight. It's over the hole, so now I'm going to have to pressurize it with a few presses so that we could do a test on it. So as quickly as you can, hopefully it won't break. It is, as I said, a few years old. I just found it today, so... Again. I'll do it one more time because I can't guarantee I've got an actual air into here like it's supposed to be. It may be escaping. So and one last time just in case. Hopefully it will work for this video so I'm thinking there's some pressure in there we're gonna try it out now and we'll see how it goes all right so as you see it's pressurized I put this piece of cardboard here just for now And then as it goes into the animal, or like in the movies of people, once you push here, that rubber thing's gonna move. And the pressure's gonna inject whatever liquid into the animal or person. Anyways, hope you like the demonstration of how these things work and uh, liked how this one here worked. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them, obviously in the comment section, and thanks for watching.